Hello, what's happening? Matt A.K. Lethal Frag here. We're going to be doing a commentary on asking for favors, some basic equity of the internet, and things to do and things not to do. You know, I receive a lot of propositions, a lot of people ask me for favors, and frankly, I turn most of them down. And this is not to be rude or callous to those people. Most of the time, it's because people just don't ask me in the right way. And I'd like to talk quickly about favors and why you really don't want to ask for too many favors. I mean, this includes retweets or shoutouts on your video or personal shoutouts and things like that. And the reason that I personally never ask people for favors, and I don't suggest that other people do, unless you really need it, is this puts you in a position that you owe that person something. So regardless of what they come back and ask you for two months down the road, three months down the road, you're kind of obligated to give that to them. So I always save asking for favors for something really big. For example, the next time I'm probably going to ask somebody for a favor is when I hit the year mark on my two-year livestream challenge. That'll be when I'll pull in a big favor, when I actually need something, when I really need something. Not when I want to get a few more views on a video, not when I want to get a few more subscribers, for something actually epic and big that people are behind, something that I believe in, and something that I've worked towards for a really long time. You know, it's just uh, a lot of people ask for too many favors these days. I don't know how many retweets I get asked for a day, but, you know, I really don't follow through on very many of them. And most because it's just, it's just asking for a favor with nothing in return, and I don't really want to ask that person for a favor later, so I don't, I don't give them the favor. You know, really when you look at YouTube, live streaming, all those things, it's a business, and the first thing you have to ask yourself when you get propositioned for something, the first thing that any person in business asks himself is, what am I getting out of this? And this is selfish, but I mean it is business and you're doing this for yourself in the end. And the second thing you ask out of it, you know, what are they getting out of it? The first thing you ask yourself is, what am I getting? Then what are they getting? And, you know, I get a lot of propositions. People ask me whether they want to partner with their website and all these things. And most of the propositions I get come down to a failure of execution on either a grammatical level or a concept level. And it's incredibly important if you're meeting somebody for the first time, especially through the Internet, where you don't have the, the benefits of reading things like body language or really getting a first impression of that person, that you word yourself very clearly, you have, you know, you've written something out that you've read over and over again, you make sure that your grammar is on key. I can tell you right now, if you send me a message asking for something and you use the, the number two for the word two, or R for the word R, it instantly gets put in the trash bin. And I don't mean this to be rude, but if you can't take the time to write a clear, concise, nice letter that gets to the point, it's not going to be worth my time. I don't see that being worth my time in the future. The second thing is you have to be ready to answer people's questions. Because like I said, the first thing somebody's going to ask themselves when you ask them for something is what do I get out of this? And that's the first thing that you want to state in any proposal, anything that you ask for, is tell them what they are getting. The very last thing in your proposal should be what they're going to give you. I just can't... I can't say how many times I've had to turn people down, and I really don't do this to... I'm not trying to say that I'm, I'm bigger than people or I have an ego, but it really just comes down to the business of asking favors, and I think it's kind of a lost art that a lot of people are pretty much clueless about. And if you're going you're gonna to be pulling in a favor, make sure it's really important, and make sure you take your time wording it. It's really hard to connect with people, and let's just say that I go out and I'm trying to pick up somebody for the Yaosh live streaming staff. That first connection I make with that person is the most important connection I will ever have with that person, because that is my one shot to make a first impression. And any time you talk to anybody on the internet in real life, you got to realize that that first impression is going to make or break your relationship for the rest of the time you know each other. You get off to a, a bad start with that person, it's game over. You know, I might do a little bit more on the actual semantics of how to word your grammar and things like that, but just be careful, guys. If you're asking for a lot of favors, people are going to be asking a lot of favors of you, and that's not always a good thing. That's all I got. Frag out.